Hello humans, my name is Kayo here, Overlord, and man, wouldn't it be nice if Midjourney had a competitor that you could also use from Discord, but for absolutely free? Well, now you can, and its name is Blue Willow. Now this video is sponsored by Blue Willow, but don't worry because not only this is a free service, but also they told me that I could say anything I want in this review. So this will be a completely impartial review and you know me, if there is something bad to say, uh, yeah, I will say it. That being said, let's begin. So then, what is Blue Willow, how does it work and should you use it? Well, Blue Willow is a text-to-image AI bot that works on Discord, exactly like Midjourney. But the difference is that, compared to Midjourney, Blue Willow is not exactly a text-to-AI model. Instead, it's more like an aggregator of different text-to-image AI models. And the way Blue Willow works is that it will analyze the user's prompt and then automatically determine what is the best model to use to generate the best images. They told me that depending on the prompt of the user, they could use DALI or stable diffusion models. So the best comparison that I could give is that Blue Willow is kinda like Google Flights. In the sense that for example Google Flights do not own the flight companies, they just show you the best prices for your destination. And Blue Willow is exactly that. They take a user's prompt, analyze it, and then automatically choose the best model for that prompt, and then generate pictures with that model. Now sometimes they might even use multiple models for one single prompt, so you might have three images made by one model and another one made by another. This way you have way more choices when it comes to the final results. Now obviously this is currently a work in progress, this is a fairly new company, so this will obviously get better with time, so if right now you don't get the results that you want, very soon the quality of the generation will definitely get better. Now a problem for this review is that I'm supposed to give you my opinion on their final results to tell you if this is good or not, but at the same time, since most of the images were not technically made by Blue Willow, but by other stable diffusion models, if I were to criticize the final results, the only thing that I would be doing is really just criticize the stable diffusion model used. Meaning that if you get bad results, it's not 100% Blue Willow's fault. Because yes, they might have automatically chosen the wrong AI model, but the quality of the image just depend on the model itself. So this would just be like criticizing a precise stable diffusion model. Which is why also so many people are doing the mistake of taking a mid-journey prompt and using this in Blue Willow. Since the majority of the models used by Blue Willow are stable diffusion models, you should not use a mid-journey prompting style to generate images with stable diffusion. And although you can have very interesting results, and as I said, it will get better and easier with time, which is why, as of right now, if you want to have the best results, you should use a stable diffusion prompting style. Now, of course, over time, I think their goal is to also make it easier and faster for everyone to use, to be a real competitor of Midjourney. But again, since it's a fairly new technology, there is still a long way to go before it's perfect. So then, let's answer the question. Is it good? Is it better than Midjourney? Well, yeah, it's good. I mean, it's stable diffusion, so it's not bad. But obviously, this is not as good as Midjourney right now. Midjourney has a very particular style that you cannot find on stable diffusion models currently. But at the same time, this is also a paid model, which is between $10 and $60 a month. Blue Willow, on the other hand, is completely free, at least as of right now. And if you already used Midjourney before, it works the exact same way, with the exact same interface, so you will not be lost. So if you want to use Blue Willow, all you have to do is just click the link in the description down below. You need a free Discord account, and once you arrive on the Discord server, on the left right here, if you scroll down, you're gonna see a bunch of rookies channel. And if you select one, you're gonna see a bunch of images generated by the other users. So you can easily see what other people are generating, and you can also take their own prompt for your own inspiration. And if you want to generate your own images, you're gonna come here, in message, type slash, and then select imagine. And then you're gonna have here a separate prompt box, and then in that little separate prompt box, you're gonna type your own prompt. And then once you're happy with the prompt, you can press enter. And as you can see right now, it says great prompt, we're working on it, stay tuned for fun images. And usually in only a few seconds, Blue Willow should generate four images 
based on your prompt. And there you go, and this is the final results. Pretty quickly, you have generated 4 images with Blue Willow, and all of that for absolutely free. And that's pretty cool. So as I said, the way it works is that Blue Willow is gonna analyze your prompt, and depending on the tags that you chose, it's gonna automatically select the best model for that prompt. Then it's gonna take that model and then generate images with that model. And then exactly like me journey, you're gonna see here a very similar interface. You're gonna see here U1, U2, U3, U4, V1, V2, V3, V4, and then a refresh button. And what this means is that the U stands for upscale. So if you want to upscale one of these images, you can press one of these buttons right here. So if you want to upscale, for example, image number 2, you're gonna press on U2. If you want to upscale image number 4, you're gonna press on U4. The V stands for variation. If you want to create a variation of a certain image, you can press on one of those V buttons. So if you want to create a variation of image number 1, you're gonna press on V1, and so on and so on. And the refresh button is basically to redo this entire generation all over again. So as you can see right here, we have upscaled image number 2, upscaled image number 4, and they did that very very quickly actually in only a few seconds, and here we have generated 4 variations of image number 1. And they look absolutely gorgeous by the way. So they really chose a nice model for this prompt. Now in terms of features and commands, it's pretty basic right now. So one thing that you have are negative prompts. So if you write your prompt right here, and you want to add negative prompts, all you have to do is just type dash dash no, and then you can start typing your negative prompts. So let's say for the negative prompts, I don't want ugly, duplicate, out of frame, extra fingers, mutated hands, etc, etc. I'm gonna have to put all these tags after the dash dash no. And the second command that you can use, exactly like me journey, is that you can choose the ratio of your image. So for example, if you want a 2x3 image, exactly like me journey, you're gonna type dash dash, a R space 2 colon 3 and this will generate 4 2 by 3 images exactly like me journey and then you can press enter and these are the final results definitely looks like Christina Hendricks so we're not using the 2.0 or the 2.1 model here and some of the images look definitely really really good. Now I definitely wish that they used some IRS fix for this image, so maybe this is an option that they could add later down the road. But I actually really like the fourth image, it's actually pretty good. And as I said, here it has generated 4 2x3 images, but if you want the opposite and generate 3x2 images, all you have to do is just type dash dash ar3 colon 2 instead of 2 colon 3. And that's pretty cool because that means that you're not stuck creating square images. You can create vertical and horizontal images. Now the second feature that they have, exactly like me journey, is that they have a basic image to image option. So for this, all you have to do is just click on this button right here and click on upload a file, select the image you want, click open, and then press enter. This image will then appear right here, and then to use it, you're gonna click on it, then right click and click on copy image link. Then in the message box, you're gonna type slash imagine, and then copy and paste the image URL. And then you're gonna write your prompt. So in my case, I simply want a portrait of a black bug in a cartoon modern Disney style. And then press enter. And this is the final result. So as you can see, they have taken inspiration from the image that I posted right here, and then it generated these four images. And that's pretty cool. Now obviously, you might have noticed since the beginning of this video, you might have noticed that everything is done for you. Meaning that if you are an hardcore, professional Stable Diffusion user, Blue Willow might not be for you, since you don't exactly have the perfect control over the final result. You might get really cool images, images that you did not expect to get, but for an expert Stable Diffusion user, this might not be enough. And I absolutely understand that. Which is why I think that Blue Willow is definitely more targeted toward complete beginners. If for example you have a friend that never used Stable Diffusion before, that don't want to install Stable Diffusion on his own computer because it's too complicated or it takes too much time, and doesn't have enough money to pay for a mid-journey subscription service, well then Blue Willow is actually pretty easy to recommend. It is a free service that runs in Discord, meaning that you can use it anywhere you want, from any platform that you want, as long as you have an internet connection. So for a complete beginner, Blue Willow is actually a no-brainer. And this is just the beginning. 
This technology will become better and better over time, meaning that very soon you might get images that are very similar to what you can find on Mid Journey. Now obviously this service will not stay free forever, I mean it's a company, they need to make money. But as of right now, Blue Willow is actually pretty easy to recommend. I mean, it's difficult to do better than free. But also, to make the technology better, they actually need your help. As of right now, Blue Willow is extremely interested in growing its community. Because the more people use their service, the more feedback they get, and the faster they can evolve their technology. And also, as I said in the beginning of the video, their team is actually super cool and has been super nice and super open, super transparent. And I think that we should definitely encourage this type of company. So if you are interested in trying out Blue Willow and give your feedback on this service, and then join their Discord server. You really have nothing to lose. Just try it out, give your opinion, give your feedback, and explain to them how they can make the service better. This way everybody wins. Except of course the people who don't want to use text to image AIs. Just saying. And also I think it's pretty cool that we have finally something that resembles a mid-journey rival. A potential competitor to a company that doesn't have any real competition. And that's always a big win for customers. Now when it comes to the paid features that they plan to release in the future, the Blue Willow team basically told me that they plan to allow users to add the bot to a private messaging section. This way if people don't want to use a public room, they will be able to pay a small fee and use the bot privately. And also if someone in the future want to add the bot to a Discord server, this will also be a paid feature. But as of right now, Blue Willow is completely free, so definitely try it out right now while you can. And I'm not getting paid to say that. I really encourage you to test it out to make the technology better and better. And there we have it folks, now we have finally a potential competitor to Mid Journey. And we should definitely encourage that, especially when it's free right now. So definitely click the link in the description down below to join this Discord server. Try it out right now for absolutely free, give them your feedback, they really need it, and then let me know in the comments down below what you thought of it. And there you go, thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and I'll see you guys next time, bye bye!